trying to win the singles, doubles, and the mix. It's been 21 years since Margaret Court won all three. Chris Everglade trying to establish a new women's record. A win today would give the 30-year-old Floridian her sixth French singles title, a new mark. The game's two best of this era, each with a chance today to further establish herself as one of the greatest in her sport. Last year, Nebraska Lobe at Match Point completed a rare four straight Grand Slam championships with an impressive win against Everett Lloyd, who was crushed under the solid shot making of Nebraska Lobe in the near court. No matter how precise Chris's shots, Martinez were as good or better. It would be only the fourth time in an 11 year span that Everett Lloyd would be beaten on the red play of Roland Garros. And there was no doubt as to who was best. Navratilova, 6-3, 6-1, and a million-dollar bonus for four slams in a row. 1985, Martin in the semifinals against the rangy 20-year-old German, Claudia Kota Kilch. Since first wearing glasses back in March, Navratilova has not lost a match. In fact, she has not relinquished a single set. in the far court, patient, solid, smashes her way into the finals in straight sets. Is she nervous facing her long-standing rival in today's final? If it's nerves, it's good nerves. It's not, uh, I wonder how it'll go because we've played so many times uh, and had so many different matches that uh, it's just, oh, well, just another one. Let's go for it and we'll see what happens. In her semifinal, Chris, the number two seed, also swept through in straight sets against the 15-year-old Argentinian phenom Gabriela Sabatini. Chris, in the near court, took the young teenager to school, offering a lesson in controlling, dictating a point. sent the athletic Sabatini on a yo-yo trip from sideline to sideline at Roland Garros. It was vintage Everett Lloyd finally putting the talented teenager away. 6-4, 6-1. Now it's Martina. Chris, true to form, has assimilated well the recent dominance of Navratilova. Well, I just don't think I'm fearful anymore. I think, you know, when you have a string of losses, um, as I had against Martina, you know, 11 times, 12 times, 13 times, it gets to be a psychological barrier. And I feel that I've broken that barrier. And, um, but I remember sitting here last year saying, oh, I have a good chance, and, and I got killed. So I think the most important thing for me is just to play my game well, and then whatever happens, happens. Thank you. So, with one of the world's giant monuments as a backdrop, it's Navratilova and Everett Lloyd, two champions, rivals and friends, in a major duel on the Terabatsu of Roland Garros. The winner today claims not only the 1985 French Championship, but an opportunity to etch a stronger place in the all-time history of greatness in her sport. Madame,